Good morning. Welcome to your Sunday morning, early morning intuitive guidance on this brisk Sunday. I had a sweatshirt on and I was still kind of chilly. So welcome back to winter. <laughs> I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, America's kick-ass coach and psychologist. Here are some words of wisdom for our day. And for the second time um, overall, we have gotten the Allowing Prayers deck by Siobhan Nash who describes herself as the innkeeper of your soul. I just think that's kind of cool. And she also says, I'm a coach, creator, and practical mystic. I think that's a good description for, for me also. So, allowing prayers, 57 invitations to spark a conversation with your soul. And when I, first I'm gonna show you the little bird on there because I just think that's so cool. Welcome to whomever just popped on, glad you are here. Actually, I'm gonna turn on my computer screen and see if that gives us a little more brightness. Eh, maybe helps a little bit. We'll see. So, um, but I love this little bird on there. Good morning, Deb. Welcome. Glad you are here. We have two or three of you popping on at this hour of the morning. That's lovely. So our card, let's take some, oh, Luann's here. Awesome. Glad you're here. Let's take some nice deep breaths together. Cleansing and clearing. Settling into this moment right here, right now. Just being fully here. I'm kind of in a in a weak state because that was a brisk little walk out there. <laughs> um, so our card for today, these are all allowing prayers. Gotta grab a drink here. Is allowing leniency. Allowing leniency. So first of all, I want you to just check in with yourself before I read the card to you, what are your first thoughts when you hear those words? Allowing leniency. Because there's going to be all kinds of connotated stuff that pops up in your head about what that means. Just checking in with yourself. What's my knee-jerk reaction to those words? Allow leniency. Okay, and now here's what she actually intends with the card. Allow leniency. Where are you currently pushing yourself to perform? So just gonna answer that question in your head. Where are you currently pushing yourself to perform? For me, it was all around the move. You know, I should have all these boxes unpacked by now. I should have gotten rid of more stuff, blah, 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 okay? So where are you currently pushing yourself to perform? What small thing could you do to ease the pressure? What small thing could you do to ease the pressure? And I'm gonna give you one that may seem small but is actually huge, which is getting off your own back. Just ceasing making all of those demands on yourself. And then the fear monger inside of you is going to pop up and say, well, you're never going to get anything done. You're going to become lazy. The house is going to go to hell in a handbasket. The world's going to end. I mean, it just spirals, right? But say those things out loud. Say those things out loud to yourself. Your response to what small thing could you do to ease the pressure? I could get off my own back. You can't do that. Say it out loud so that your ear can hear it. Not just your physical ear, but your intuitive ear can hear it and can go, oh yes, I'm going to become a total deadbeat, do nothing, lay around, not get, you know, not, not keep up with anything simply because I quit pushing myself so hard. When you say it out loud, you can hear that it doesn't quite sound right, that it's kind of a clinker in terms of thought processing, okay? Third question is, how could being lenient with yourself create space for a better outcome? How could being lenient with yourself create space for a better outcome? I think one that's obvious right off the bat is if we quit pushing ourselves so hard, we won't be as exhausted, we won't be as crabby, I'm gonna suggest that paradoxically, you are going to get more done because you're not riding roughshod over yourself, not cracking the whip, okay? And your wise 
intuitive part of you will say, yes, this is true. And that fear monger will say, you can't listen to that. That's just a plot to get you into doing nothing, yada, yada, yada. I mean, so take the time. Take the time to challenge the knee-jerk reactions that come up. Don't just let them sit there fomenting, okay? Do something with them. Do something with them. Challenge them. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get off my back for a half an hour and see what happens. Yep, I did not turn into someone laying around eating bonbons. I actually felt good and felt a little more motivated to do stuff and whatever else comes up for you. But allow leniency. Allow leniency. So I'm going to read the three questions again. Let's see if anything else comes up for you. I'd love to have you put in the feed what your reactions are to this whole idea. Allow leniency. Where are you currently pushing yourself to perform? What small thing could you do to ease the pressure? And how could being lenient with yourself create space for a better outcome? If I remember when I go in to um, cross post this to the other YouTube, LinkedIn, etc., I'll try to remember to put the three questions on there so that you can, you can have them in writing also. But I think this is perfect for a Sunday. What can you do today to buy yourself a little space, some breathing space, some time? Just little things. Go out and look at all the things that are blooming in your yard. Take a walk in your neighborhood and see what everybody else has growing. That'd be a lovely way to invest a little of your time in allowing leniency. So that's your mission. We'll see how many of you actually do it and how many of you allow that fear monger inside to blow it off. All right, have a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.